we'll discuss how different forces appear on a horse cart system. Okay, so this is the diagram of horse cart. <coughs> now, how the forces are coming into picture? We have two systems. Suppose uh, in this whole total horse cart system, we have two different objects. One is cart and another one is horse. So if you different forces, so on horse, what are the different forces acting? The horse is trying to move in forward direction. So he will push the ground in backward direction. So there will be a forward force on the horse, the forward direction friction force on the horse. And the horse is connected with this connecting object. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, if you look at the horse, horse cart system, the horse cart system can be assumed to be made up of two different objects. One is cart and second one is horse. If you see for horse, the horse, what are the different forces on the horse? So the horse tries to put the push the ground in backward direction and as a result, the horse gets a friction force in forward direction. And second is the horse is connected with the cart with this stick. So the stick applies a backward force on this horse. So we can call it the suppose reaction force. Then we have a normal force on this horse uh, from the ground and then we have a weight on the horse that is mg. So what are the different things? We are having its weight, we are having its normal, then we have friction, and then we have reaction force from the stick. So these are the four forces acting on the horse. But you can see that in vertical direction, normal and mg are balanced. The normal and mg is balanced because in vertical direction system is not moving. But if you see the horizontal forces, the friction force in forward direction and the reaction force in backward direction, the friction is greater than reaction force. This is for horse the friction is greater only then the horse will be able to move forward the reaction force from the the reaction force from the stick or from the cart which is coming through the stick should be less than the friction force okay now consider cart what are the different forces on the cart on cart we have again a normal force from the ground and its weight and the reaction force which was acting on the horse that will provide a forward direction force on the cart and there will be a small friction because this surface is rolling so there will be a small rolling friction acting in the backward direction so if you write on cart on cart the normal force is balanced with mg and we have a r the reaction force which is applied by the horse on the cart the r the r will be greater than f rolling friction the rolling friction is negligible many a times you can uh, neglect also the rolling friction so r will be greater than rolling friction so this is the forces on the cart and you can see in this way the whole system will start moving in forward direction uh, why because you can see the friction is greater than r so the horse will move in forward direction and in the cart also you can see the r is greater than the rolling friction so the cart will also move in forward direction so in this way you can understand the horse cart system what are the different forces acting and how they are giving the acceleration the acceleration if you want to write the acceleration here will be equal to the net force r minus f divided by mass of the horse and similarly here the acceleration will be uh, sorry this is f minus r f minus r and here the acceleration will be r minus f uh, small uh, f f r means rolling friction divided by mass of the cart so in this way you can find acceleration and these two accelerations will be equal and since these two are equal by equating these two you can also relate these forces how much these forces 
will be how they will be related any doubt <laughs>